Hey, 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 and happy Monday to you. I hope you had yourself a great weekend. If not, hopefully it was at least a nice weekend. Ah, but it was pretty mellow. Didn't do a whole lot. Did my mobility training on Saturday and Sunday. I just went for a three mile walk. It's nice, simple and easy. I did spend some time, which is actually correlating to uh, today's topic. <clears throat> um, there's some times where you can really think hard and ponder something else. And there's other times to where it's just, it's in the back of your mind. And for me, it was kind of in the back of my mind. That's where we come up to today's topic. So, oh, David here with you. And what we're talking about is ways to work on your health and wellness. And you do that by working on your body, mind, spirit. You do it what fits into your life and what works for you. So today's topic, where's the best place for you to start your health change? And what's your first best step? So we're talking about that. Is a lot of times if I'm working with a client, one of the things I'll come down through is through one of the intake forums, it's going to have you list and say, okay, what's the three things that you could change for your health and wellness that you'd like to do? Now, out of those, now, <clears throat> what I've found sometimes too is that sometimes if you work on one, the other two take care of themselves. But regardless, you find out, okay, what is the one spot you want to work on? Where is it you want to start at? Now, for some people, it might be their nutrition. That's going to be the one for them. They want to start working with their nutrition. Uh, the ones is going to be movement or exercise. Someone else might be, they want to work on meditation. Someone else's mindset. So you can see it's all over the place. It just depends on where's the best place for you to start. It's not necessarily right or wrong. It's just what works for you. What's the spot that you want to work on? And sometimes it might be the easiest one that's going to be for you to change and work on. Um, I did a video on that a little while back called uh, the low hanging fruit. Excuse me. So once you figure that one out, then you start breaking that down into steps. What's going to be your best first step? So, for example, if you're going to work on, say, nutrition and you want to start cutting down calories, so maybe you can realize you got a, a sweet treat you have every day. So that might be your first step is to cut out that extra sweet treat. That's what you do for the week. That's your best first step. That's sometimes, again, it's also the easiest one for you to do. So you find out what are those easy ways you can do, what's your best one. I, call, I refer to it as the best step or what's your best one. And sometimes it's, again, as I want to say here, it's sometimes it's just the easiest one for you to do. So if you do it easy, it's easy for you to do. It's a low hanging fruit, grab it, get a win. Uh, I seen a quote someone shared up this morning. I'm going to paraphrase here. But basically it was, if you can't do the dishes, if you can't wash the dishes, wash a dish. If you can't take a shower, wash your face. If you can't clean the whole room, clean a, clean a small corner. The idea is at least go through and at least do at least a little. Now, many times I just say at least there. Do something. Do a little bit there to give yourself a win because those wins start stacking up on top of each other and can lead to big gains. So that's what we're kind of emphasizing here. Whatever your health and wellness change is, use your health, wellness, fitness. Let's go back and figure out where it is you want to start at. Figure out uh, one of the questions we've asked. If you could wave a magic wand and we're granted three wishes in regards to your health, wellness, and fitness, what would they be? So figure out out of those three, what's going to be the one you want to start on. And then from there, you break it down the steps. So the steps for uh, exercise. Go back to uh, the 10 minutes a day challenge, which is in the my uh, Facebook, Facebook group. We're talking about getting physical activity at least 10 minutes a day. And most people can easily fit that in. You can just walk or I, a couple times on the when I did that challenge. I just walked around my bedroom for 10 minutes, put the music on and walked around. Nutrition, maybe substitute water instead of a soft drink or alcohol. Meditation, got a five minutes of quiet time uh, during experience in there as well in the group. Or you can just take, and sometimes that's all you have. You can't do five minutes one time, but you can also stretch it throughout the day. So it's whatever your first step, because I was thinking about this. I got something I've been procrastinating on. I've been doing something else, which is something still needs to be done, but it's not going to give me as much bang for buck as this over here. But yet I've been stalling on, I've been delaying on it. And so, Thinking about it and let it kind of simmer in the back of the mind. That's where I kind of came up with this. Like, okay, I got to apply this to myself. Okay, here's this whole thing will give me a bigger bang for my buck overall than what this other thing is I'm working on over here, even though I still need to work on that. This one here, okay, what's the first steps? I need to break it down and I just need to go through and get her done. So that's where the kind of topic came from today. But if you want some help on that, if you want the, the free challenges, the 10 minutes a day challenge, the quiet time challenge. In the description here, there's a link to my Facebook group. It's free. I got different trainings in there as well as a guide on, uh, it's in the guide section. It's health and wellness your way. How to start making changes, which I just recently went through and kind of redid a little bit. 
So that's available there if you want it. And uh, let me know your thoughts on that. Overall, where uh, have you noticed that? Or if you're going to make a change right now, what would be your best place to start? And then what would be your best first step? Let me know that in the comics there. You can, that way there you can get yourself a great start to a new week on a Monday here. And the first day, now today's the 31st, right? Today is the last day of January. So tomorrow will be the first day of February. All right, have that there. Take care. Have yourself a wonderful day. We'll catch you tomorrow and balancing to you. Bye-bye.